The Sad Discussion of the Disciples Jesus wanted to teach his disciples a lot about himself. So Jesus made sure that his disciples can witness his countless miracles that he performed for the Israelites, like healing the sick, calming the wind and waves, and feeding thousands with just a few fish and bread. But the disciples seemed to be more interested in Jesus' miracles rather than Jesus himself. Jesus asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied that people say that he's John the Baptist, Elijah, or one of the prophets. Then Jesus asked the disciples, But what about you? Who do you say that I am? Then Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Then Jesus replied something important. He said, The Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men. They will kill him, and after three days he will rise. But the disciples did not understand what he meant. Then once again, Jesus showed his disciples who he was. He took some of the disciples with him high up on the mountain and showed them his transfigured self. Jesus' clothes became white and bright, and it said that no such brightness can be found in the world. But the disciples still seemed clueless about who Jesus is, seeing how they said something completely irrelevant, like, I will put up three shelters here. Can you believe these disciples? I mean, if Jesus kept on showing them and telling them who he is, shouldn't they at least tell him that they don't get it and at least ask Jesus for an explanation? But the disciples had no interest in Jesus at all. All they do was fight over who is bigger and better. They were arguing about who is next best to Jesus, who is the greatest, saying, I'm the best because I'm managing our goods. I'm the best because I ate on the right side of Jesus. I'm the best because I got the right answer, Jesus Christ. And they were saying they were the greatest, even when Jesus told them, whoever wants to be first must be the slave of all and the last. Guys, if we don't know why Jesus came to us, all we would talk about would be who is the greatest, smartest, and best of us all. Like the disciples, despite having seen Jesus' transfiguration and all the miracles that he has done. From this week begins Lent, a period of remembering Jesus' suffering and resurrection. Through all the miracles that Jesus has shown us, through his transfiguration, through his cross and resurrection, I hope that we come to realize the reason Jesus came to this world. I hope it will be a time we come to truly realize Jesus' genuine love for us all. Thank you.